What's up guys, it's Chris here. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video, we're going to be talking about an article that just released today actually. And the article is from Deadline. And it's uh, launching the Office reboot, a goal for NBCU streamer Peacock. That's the name for the streaming service for NBC is Peacock. So I'm just going to read this article for you guys and yeah. Talks for a potential reboot of The Office have been going on for so long. The topic has started to become a running joke and was spoofed in star Steve Carell's opening monologue on Saturday Night Live last fall. A fan's long, long wait for a new Office series may be coming to an end. The upcoming NBC Universal streaming platform today unveiled its name, Peacock, and, it, and its intentional slate of original series, which includes reboots of three NBCU series, Battlestar Galactica, Saved by the Bell, and Punky Brewster. I've never heard of that one. They could soon be joined by uh, a reboot of The Office. It is my goal that we do an Office reboot, says NBCU's Bonnie Hammer and she is the chairman of direct-to-consumer and digital enterprises. NBCU recently acquired streaming rights to NBC's The Office for 500 plus million, taking it away from Netflix where the series starring Carell has flourished. The Office comes back to us in January 2021. It is my hope that we can figure what that great reboot would be, Hammer said. Adding, we are having conversations. An office reboot would fit into Peacock's strat strategy for original scripted series, including reboots, in which we want there to be some connected tissue to what we have also in the library. For instance, Sam Ismail's new Battlestar Galactica reboot will run alongside the popular original sci fi ch channel series, which also will be available available on Peacock. The new Mike Schwer comedy series, Weatherford Falls, starring Ed Helms, shares sensibility with two acquired series, The Office, which co-starred Helms, on which Schwer was a key writer-producer, and Parks and Recreation, which Schwer co-created. All of our choices, especially in the beginning, we are doing them strate strategically so they connect back to our legacy, Hammer said. While The Office is currently on the top of Hammer's reboot list, any NBCU-owned series which reruns are carried by Peacock is a candidate. We will be looking at all of them down the road and see what makes sense, the most sense, Hammer said. When we see what the usage is on the service, if something is popping and it's ours, you better believe that we are going to be looking at it as a new original. Steve Carell, who left the office at the end of the seven-year contract, has stated repeatedly that he is not in favor of revisiting the Emmy-winning comedy series, and last year said that his character Michael Scott Boris shenanigans at Dunder Mifflin might not play as so well in today's climate of heightening awareness of offensive behavior. Carroll and the office developer Greg Daniels are currently working on an office-esque comedy series for Netflix entitled Space Force. So yeah, so it looks like they are making or thinking about making an office reboot. Now I don't know if this is like the completely new characters and maybe some some characters characters will come back. But if I know anything, I'll make another video and let you guys know. Um, I'm probably gonna make another video of my thoughts about this. So yeah, this is all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys have a good day. Please uh, share, subscribe, comment down below, like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.